All right, hey, it's uh, historian Justin Vipperman and my son David. Hello. We're back out here uh, at Malad Gorge uh, this week. And I have wanted to do this video for so long, uh, probably about three or four years that I've wanted to do this video. However, uh, this is a spot that uh, has taken me a long time to get out to and to find. Anyway, I'm not, I'm specifically not showing you the location uh, because it's super dangerous uh, to get down here and uh, people don't they don't really want you uh, rangers don't want you down here and so i'm definitely trying not to to make sure that there isn't any distinguishing marks however what i do want to show you are these horse hooves they're in the in this small little canyon here this is a horse hoof here uh that was that has come through the lava it's been filled in now the way that this worked is about a million years ago this area would have been sand and dirt and a horse would have run through here and the lava came in behind it and filled it in what's interesting is that we have the hagerman horse that's around here however this horse hoof is actually a lot bigger and i'm going to see if i can get down in and show you how big that is Let's see if my phone will uh, change there so you can see the different points here where the horse actually walked through but leaving this really good hoof right at the end Anyway, I find it fascinating that this is here. Now, there's actually two discoveries. This discovery was made early on, but then there's also some markings here. When ISU came out and looked at this, uh, a professor from ISU came out, took a look at some of the things that were going on here uh, and said, yeah, that this is probably about a million years old when this horse would have ran through and the lava followed in and set its uh, hooves hanging from this cave ceiling. That happened in the 1990s. Uh, some of the rangers were doing some uh, tours around here. They took a look uh, as they were doing a tour. A couple of ladies who were with them said, we actually grew up at a farmhouse around here and used to use this path to go fishing. And so they showed the ranger uh, the horse hooves. And now the horse hooves, uh, they, they try not to tell people where they're at. In fact, I, it took me three, uh, three years, my brother-in-law and I three years to find this area uh, because ISU actually wouldn't tell me where it was either, even though um, I thought that I had a good enough uh, history question uh, to find out what, what was going on here. So I'm excited to bring you all down here. This is really, if, if you're talking to a historian about what this is, um, right, this is, this is anthropology, this is geology, uh, this is not history, except for me, this is Idaho history and how fascinating it is uh, that we have this stuff that's along the canyon rim. This, this video will be used for one of my first courses uh, in uh, one of the first videos in World History 101 and in U.S. History 111, which is that things are going on in Idaho much earlier than we want to, than we actually learn in fourth grade history. And that's what I find fascinating. So this will be one of the first videos, this horse hoof that's here in this cave in Malad Gorge. I find it fascinating. Look for another video upcoming uh, about pre-contact uh, American Indians here in Idaho as well, uh, which should be the next video uh, in the next week or so. I hope you have a great day. If you like this uh, video, hit the like button. Give me a comment. Let me know uh, what you think. Uh, I'd love to tell you where, where it's at, but honestly, uh, it's it, it might be a little dangerous to get down here and I don't really want to, to let uh, other people know, but I do want you to see how amazing how amazing this is and how amazing history is. Uh, again, this is historian Justin Vipperman and my son David. Uh, we'll catch you all later. Bye.